We're learning more about why homeless encampment clearouts are on pause in the city of Chico. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca joins us live from Chico. And Tori, what's the latest holdup about? Well, for starters, the plaintiff or eight original homeless people who sued the city have a problem with the city's next area of enforcement. But there's also a new legal battle that's raising up from the plaintiff's side. They're claiming that the city isn't doing its full part of the settlement agreement when it comes to outreach and engagement when they're meeting these people on the streets. Now, the plaintiff claims the city and outreach teams are denying people a pallet shelter after assessment and referring them to the tourist shelter without telling them why. It says they ask limited questions, excluding important determining factors, like if someone has a disability or if they'd be separated from a family member. The assessment form does ask if a person needs an ADA unit, but the plaintiff thinks this is not enough in addressing other mental or physical needs a person has. Homeless people I talk with echo they don't understand what qualifies them for one shelter versus the other. I don't know how to get the referral. We called 211 like 30 times. How do we get a referral for the pellet? So we, me and my husband actually have a tent. We're fortunate enough to say we have a tent when others might not. The city says outreach and engagement is a conversational assessment. The team isn't just looking to check off boxes on a form, but instead account for people's visual and verbal cues. Chico's Public Works Director Eric Gustafson tells me the process is working well and staff is following that settlement agreement. And now we can all remember just a few months ago when this entire area near City Hall was filled with tents and we were out here as we watched those outreach and engagement teams go tent to tent talking with these people. So now the big question is, when is the next area going to be cleared? Well, Eric Gustafson tells me, the Chico Public Works Director, he says that they do have a meeting with the judge on this Wednesday to discuss just this. And another source from the city tells me that this conversation will be centered around Wind Chime Park. But again, it is ultimately up to the judge to decide which area does get cleared next. For now, reporting live in Chico, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thanks for that update, Tori. Now, the city also has a hearing set for September 13th to dispute the plaintiff's motion that the city's outreach and engagement is not following the settlement agreement. This means the judge could decide to hold off any more enforcement until after this is resolved.